Hello and welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you the newest feature of Adobe Fresco and that is the rotate option in motion or animation in Fresco. And I'm going to show you how to create this exact text rotate animation using this feature. So let's just get started. I just want to thank everyone who's been supporting me on Coffee. Ko thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Click on create new. I'm going to go into digital and current screen size. If this doesn't show up like this, use this arrow and switch to your landscape mode. Click. Now let's click on the text tool and tap. Click on the keyboard and write your word. I'm going to click on my keyboard here and then write rotate. Don't worry about making it caps or anything. This looks fine. Now click on keyboard again, double T option here, which will capitalize everything and go to your text. And I want you to choose a font which has an O, which is not exactly like zero. For example, here, I'm going to increase this. You can use the side arrow keys here like that. So this O is completely like a complete circle. So when it rotates, you might not be able to see it. So you want a font which does not have that. It could be something like this. And I'm choosing a font called Bodoni 72. So if you don't have a Fresco paid version, you probably cannot see a lot of fonts. But like I told you, don't worry. Work with whatever fonts you have and go back to fonts here. And then everything else is same. I'm not going to change anything over here. Let's click on this here. Now I'll bring the artboard. I'm going to increase this by holding these lines here. I'm going to place it somewhere in the center. Now we're going to go ahead and convert this to vector. So click convert to vector layer. Now this is actually a vector. You can see that by the symbol. Now let's go to our lasso tool and we want to animate only this. So I'm going to go ahead and pick only this one. So in here, I was set to lasso and you just make sure you go back and join the starting point. So this gets selected. Now click on the layer, click on cut selection and click again and say paste selection and it will automatically paste on a completely different layer. Just exactly what you want. Click on done. Click on the motion icon. Click on path and let's go here, which says rotate. It is automatically turned on instead of sway. Let's put it to spin and you see that the circle starts spinning and the path is right at the center. You can also do many things like put the path somewhere outside. I'm going to cancel that and put the path here. It's going to come and rotate over there. So if you want the O to be down, up, sideways, uh, probably here, it's completely okay. Now you see it's rotating clockwise. If you want, you can turn it around and make it rotate counterclockwise. This means it's just going to increase the speed. I'll keep it at four. So it's a little faster. And then you don't have to worry about anything else. And that's it. You're done. So let's pull back, pull back here, click on this. And then wait a minute. Let me go to a different layer to remove this thing so that it doesn't, it's not an eyesore. <laughs> go back to it like this and play all and your rotating animation is ready. You can use this feature for a whole set of things. For example, a bicycle that's running on a path or you can make these kind of animation where things are rotating please this is a work in progress it's not done yet so it looks terrible anyway one is rotating in a clockwise direction the other one is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction and that's how you get them to match so there's also multiple things that you could do with paths uh you can just click on path you have this path now and i'm going to go ahead and add an extra path like this so let's go back to a different layer and now see what happens. So you have something and it can come back and join as well. So you would use this for a rotating planet, for example, if it's rotating around the sun and things like that. So I'm going to post that and undo that because I don't want it. And I like only this. And there you go. To export it, click on export, publish and export motion. And then you can use things here to export it. You can also use loop function here and generate frames and you will get a video file for it. Yeah, that brings us to the end of this tutorial and I hope you liked it. See you in the next one. Bye.